Okay, so now we're going to sit here and import our FBXs. As you can see, I'm bringing up the Unity Project Wizard. I'm going to create a new project, and I'm going to bring in just the Character Controller package. Okay, this should only take a little bit to open up, but I'm going to sit there and pause. Okay, now that we're back and we have this up, what we're going to do is we're going to move in our two FBXs. So I'm going to move in Bad Cube, and I'm going to move in Good Cube. Depending on what you have, it could take a little longer than just those couple of seconds. And you can see, there's my Good Cube, and it's got the train in. Here's, there's my Bad Cube, and take a look. My Bad Cube has no texture. Okay, so that's a problem here. That's exactly what we should see when we don't check that Embed Media checkbox when we export the object from out of Maya. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the good cube and I'm going to change its settings a little bit. I'm going to make it to 0.2 and the good cube I'm going to generate colliders with. This allows other objects in Unity to interact with it. Now the bad cube, I'm going to give it the same hot size, the same scale of 0.2, but I am not going to select generate colliders. You're going to see what happens. Now we need some place to put everything, so we're going to generate some terrain. Okay. And I, what I did was click clicked on here, and then once I'm in here, hit the F key. Okay, because what that did, that allowed it to focus. And of course, I just undid that, so I'm going to scroll it back in. Now, that's a little too big, so I'm going to sit there and do set resolution and change the height and width to 500 meters. Okay, now we still have it, and I'm going to want to get a little closer than that because I want to see what I'm doing. Because I'm going to take a character controller my first person character controller and move it over here. Okay. Now. What I'm trying to do is make sure that I can see where it is. Now I'm going to Okay. And one of the things you can do is we're going to do a Y and I'm going to scroll out so I can see my terrain. And I can see my terrain's way over here, so I'm going to have to really manipulate this. So there's my first person controller. There's my terrain. Now if I look at my first person controller again, I can see it. So now I can sit there and get it to where I'm actually someplace near where my terrain is, and you can see in the game window I'm starting to see it now down there below. Okay, and if I sit there and zoom in, now I can see it much easier. I can move it down a little bit, use the F key. And we've got a long way to go to get down there. So sometimes instead of doing that, what we can do, first person controller, what direction is that? That is Y. Is it 92? The terrain's at zero. So why don't I put this guy like at one? First person controller, let's move him down to one. And that's very weird. Something weird is going on. So all I'm doing is moving him down so that I can sit there and see him. And I'm going to get him here pretty quick. Well, I'm only down to 82. So I'm going to pause this for a second until I move him on. Okay, I finally got tired of moving him around. And you'll notice over here I reset the Y to 0 to make sure it worked. Now, one of the things you see is you can see he's embedded in the floor. And if that happens, what you're going to see when you play it, and I'm going to not maximize it so we can keep it down there, is that he just goes to the floor, doesn't he? Okay, so what we need to make sure is our controller is above the floor. Okay, and I'm just going to back it out a little bit because it's time to bring in my cubes. So I'm going to bring in... When I look at this, okay, I'm going to bring in my good cube first, and I'm doing it over here because if I have my first, you can see there's the camera range. 
So there's my my good cube, and now I'm going to bring my bad cube and put him over here. And you'll notice I can't even see him, can I? He's there, and you can you can see he's hiding there, but he's the same color as everything else. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly do a game object, create other, and create a directional light real quick, and that should that helps us. Okay, it gets you out of the way. Now I can see them very clearly. Okay, now let's look at what happens now. I'm going to go maximize play again. And if we look at this, you're going to see that I'm going to be able to, assuming I can drive, run right through that cube, didn't I? But I can't run through the cube that I generated the colliders on for. Notice I'm standing on top of the cube. So there they are. So that's how you would import something into Unity. Okay, this was short and sweet, but hopefully this gives you enough of a idea if you're having any problems. Okay, so I'm going to end this now.